Well, hello everybody. I am Gina Burnett with Shine with Gina B. And I am here this morning. Um, my upline did a video today, and so I'm kind of being a copycat, and I'm going to share something that she shared. Um, sometimes people would like to wear makeup, but they're intimidated by it. So, today I'm going to show you a very simple look. We're just going to keep it simple today. Okay, we're only going to use, hopefully, I'm thinking, um, two colors of eyeshadow. So, for those of you that are nervous about blending a lot of colors, I'm going to show you how to avoid that. How you can get your eye makeup done really quickly. So, let's get into it already this morning, okay? I already have done my foundation. Um, press powder and eyebrows. That's all I've done. I'm going to do my eyes and blush and lips with you guys. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and get started on my eyes and I am going to use two colors and I want to show you how some of our products can be used for multiple purposes. So I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use this color right here called Nimble. This is one of our press powder eyeshadows, Nimble. And I'm going to use one of our blushes. Um, now, a couple of our blushes are on. Um, we're just a short time. This is one of them. Um, and they are going away. So if you are interested in seeing some of our special colors that came out for a short time, um, hop on my website, www.shinewithginab.com. Uh, and check those out because some of those are going to be going away. You can also... Um, scroll down on my Facebook page and it shows all the products that are um, we're only here for a special time so check that out okay so let's go ahead and get into this I'm gonna start with our eye primer hi Diana how are you happy new year I'm gonna go ahead and start with our eye primer and this is so that um, when I'm using pressed shadows or palettes I always start with an eye primer. It helps those colors stay in place throughout the day and helps to avoid uh, creasing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that eye primer on. I highly recommend getting an eye primer. Ours is excellent. Um, it looks like this. You only need a teeny, 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 tiny bit. Um, Happy New Year to you too, Diana. Um, you only need a teeny, tiny little bit of this. Uh, like literally half the size of a pea that you split between both eyes. So this lasts a long, long time. Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas, Diana? I hope Santa was good to you. Okay, so we are going to go on in here. I'm going to get my big fluffy brush. This is a unique brush. It's one of our newer brushes. And I'm going to go in and start with this nimble. And I'm going to put that in my crease area just in the crease and above up to about my brow bone I'm gonna start on this outside and I'm just gonna work this nimble color into my crease and just up to my brow bone now this brush is awesome it's very fluffy if you hold it right at the end you don't want to hold it way up here like a pen if you do that you're gonna get your colors really dark so you always kind of want to hold it back at the end of any brush that you're using um, for anything whether it's your blusher brush or a um, eyeshadow brush you always kind of want to just hold it back at the end so that you're using a very light touch that helps the eyeshadow to um, blend better not look clumpy and to give a very soft appearance so that's it anybody can do what I just did dip into hi Peggy welcome 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 um, I'm just showing a very simple uh, eyeshadow look this morning I'm just gonna try to use two colors to show you uh, ladies how to keep this simple also I am 49 and so this kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's like the older I get, the more makeup I want to use, but the less makeup I want it to be obvious, if that makes any sense to anybody. It's like the older I get, the more stuff I have to cover up, more wrinkles and lines and bags and sags. And so I'm tending to use more makeup, but 
I kind of want to keep it looking more simple. Um, I'm not 20 anymore, and so the real, real glam look is saved for very special occasions. Um, so I'm just more kind of in this place where I'm trying to keep it soft and neutral. Now that doesn't mean that I can't experiment with different colors, because I can. I use purples and blues and greens, but it's just keeping the look soft and natural looking. Okay, so I use this bl uh, blending brush just to get this color nimble in there. Very simple. Just put it in my crease. Now I do have hooded eyes, so I need to come up over my crease or else you wouldn't even be able to see my eyeshadow. And now I'm going to take our Deluxe brush, this one right here. This is very soft too. i got powder in. I'm getting some of my old color out of it. But I'm going to use this. It's very soft. And I'm going to use this with that blush that I showed you. Now this blush, I love this because this blush has a... Um, illuminator in it which makes for really pretty um, it illuminates it makes it a little bit shiny but it's not a shimmer per se look how pretty that goes on and look how pretty it blends with that pretty nimble color just the soft pink and the soft beige looks really really pretty together and I love how this is going to go on my cheeks, and I might even use it on my lips, too. So you can buy one of our blushers. Like I said, we have two other ones that are like this that have the illuminators in them that are getting ready to go away. You can check those out um, on my website, www.shinewithginab, and you can also just check them out on my Facebook page. I made a post last night of some lip colors and some eyeliner, some dip and draw eyeliners and some these blush colors. Isn't that pretty? And then you can just go back in with the big fluffy brush if you want to and very softly just kind of blend those two together a little bit. Very softly blend that together. And that's it. That's all I'm doing for eyeshadow. That is my look today. Simple, simple, simple. So if you're somebody who's intimidated by eyeshadow um, and doesn't, you know, gets nervous about the outer V and the inner V and the highlight color and all that stuff, you don't have to do that. We can keep it very, very simple. I am going to add some eyeliner. And... Let's see, what color eyeliner do I want to do today? I think I've been kind of, I've been really loving this. Um, this is called Presumptuous, and it's this bluish gray color. It is so pretty, and it's really cool when I do like a really soft neutral eyeshadow. This just adds a little bit of pop of color, which I'm loving, because it's just very, like, barely there. So I am going to do my bottom line I do from the corner to about my pupil and do the same thing on the other side Okay, so there's the eyeliner, and then I'm going to do the waterline on the top. I don't usually put eyeliner actually on my eyelid. Because of my hooded eyes, I don't have much real estate there, and I don't like to take it up using space for eyeliner. So I almost always just do my top waterline, which is the underside of your eyelashes. And that still adds plenty of definition for me, as you can see. Looks great. And then, of course, without a doubt, I will finish off with my Epic Mascara. If you have not tried Epic Mascara, you should. It is the one product 
that I am a little bit pushy about. I don't sell makeup. I share makeup. I share makeup tips. I share products that work well for me. But the mascara, I have to kind of draw the line there because I do honestly believe that every single woman should have Epic Mascara. Everyone. Everyone. It is hands down the best mascara I have ever used. And every single tube that I have ever sold, I get the same um, comments back that it is their favorite mascara too. Best mascara ever. I hear it over and over and over again. And so when you get those kind of results from a product, it's hard not to share that. And you wonder, like, what is stopping somebody from trying this? I mean, there's no reason to not try it. We do have a 14-day money-back guarantee, one of the things I love about my company. But this mascara will add so much length and volume. We also have our 3D plus mascara which is a three-step process that's what put us on the map many of you probably have heard of that mascara and it is awesome awesome as well the only problem with that is it does take a little bit longer to apply and so for an everyday look I prefer the one step now that we have it when we didn't have it I was willing to use the 3d to get the look I wanted but now that we have the Epic and it's just one step, I prefer to use that. Now, if I'm going out for a really, if I'm wanting a really glammed up look, I'll layer them. I'll use the 3D and this Epic. Hi, Vicki. How are you? Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good time with that cutie little granddaughter of yours. So sweet. She's getting big. But this mascara is the bomb. You cannot beat it anywhere. I don't care what anybody says. This is the one product that I am pushy, <laughs> pushy about. The rest of the products are awesome. I stand behind them. I definitely think you should use them. They are not the same as drugstore products. They are awesome, awesome, awesome products. And I love all of them. The mascara, though, is even another level to me. The mascara is definitely... A standalone on its own product that is not replicated anywhere else. Um, I usually offer free shipping to people for their first tube. So if you have not tried this mascara and would like to, I will not charge you. Well, it's not that I won't charge you. I will pay the shipping for you on your first tube which will save you some money. We always offer free shipping on orders of $100 or more. So if you want to get other products at the same time, that's another way to save on shipping. Okay, so there's my eye look today. Very simple. Two colors, easy peasy. Anybody can do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to go in with my blush. I'm going to spray off my uh, blusher brush real quick because I had used that with other colors. So I'm going to clean that real quick with the super duper brush cleaner that we had out at Christmas time. I hope some of you got to take advantage of that because that was just a, I'm hoping they'll bring that back, but I was able to snag a couple bottles of that while we had it. It was just a special. And um, so I was able to get a couple of those brush cleaners. Okay. So now I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do bronzer. I like to use bronzer on my cheeks, and if you place it correctly, ladies, right here, like from the top of your ear and down, you don't want to come all the way in, just right here. And this is gonna create a shadow right here, and what that does, it creates the illusion of deeper set cheekbones. It has that shadow effect. Can you guys see that? If anybody can see that, give me a thumbs up. If you can see how that has created like the look of an indentation here. Um, it totally changes the look of your face. It's contouring, 
But instead of using a darker contouring powder, I'm just using our um, Beachfront Bronzer. I think the bronzer, for me, works really well for this. During the summer, I'll probably have to move. Thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, during the summer, I'll probably have to move to an actual contour. I also will put just a little bit of bronzer right up here at the top of my forehead just to give like a sun kiss look, like if you were sitting out in the sun where that bronzer, the sun would hit you. And then I like to do a little bit under my chin just to try to alleviate the look of this double chin I have because there again, it casts a shadow. Anywhere you put a shadow makes it look more um, drawn in and anywhere you put a highlighter makes it pop out more, which is why I do my eyes the way I do. You put a darker color here where my hood is, and then I put the lighter, brighter color on my lid to make that lid pop out. Okay, so that's it for the bronzer. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to use this beautiful shade of blusher that I used on my eyes. And I'm going to use that on my cheeks. This does has, have that beautiful illuminator in it. So not only am I using this for my eyeshadow, but I'm also using it as my blusher. Can't beat that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? I love that. Really, really pretty color and one product being used multiple ways. That is one of my favorite things, is to find a product that I can get a lot of bang out of. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, the last thing, is my lips. And I'm gonna use this nude color, this is Stellar um, liquid lipstick. Actually, I lied. Totally lied, I'm sorry. First I'm gonna exfoliate. This is like a sugar scrub for your lips. This is a Christmas edition. So it's peppermint. And we no longer have that. This was another one of them specials we had over the Black Friday specials. But we still do have an exfoliator. It's the exact same thing, only this one is peppermint. But it does the same thing. It has shea butter and the sugar scrub. I try to use this every day before I put on lipstick. to get rid of any dead flakies on my lips. You guys know what that looks like, like when you drag, um, you go to put your lipstick on and it like catches on all those dead skin parts. It looks really gross. It looks really blotchy. So to avoid that, exfoliator. Get yourself a lip exfoliator. Okay. So now next I'm going to go in with this color Stellar. It's extremely neutral. This is our Splash Liquid Lipsticks. These are super long wearing. Thank you. I love this color too. Stellar is such a pretty neutral color. It was, we had it for a long time. It was like a special color, then it went away, and then it was gone for months, and now they brought it back, which people are happy about. If you're, um, this will last me till lunchtime. Well, I shouldn't say that because we're almost to lunchtime. Thank you, Angie. I love that compliment. Thank you so much. Please tune in. Um, share this video, if you will. That is so helpful to me. If you share this video so other people can take advantage and um, introduce me to other people, I would appreciate that so much. And thank you, Angie, for taking your time today to hang out with me. I love, love, love to have new friends. So the last thing I'm going to do, I told you I was still going to use this on my lips. I'm going to put my finger in this, and I'm going to dab this on my lips. Can you see that, how it changed? The Stellar is a matte. 
That was the liquid lipstick that I just put on. Hi, Liz. How are you? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So this is the blush, again, that I just used on my eyes, on my cheeks, and now I just used it again on my lips. One product. This does have the illuminator in it, so it kind of gave my lips a shiny look. I love it. So that is my look for today. Easy to color on my eyes if you're just tuning in. I use, let me go back over this real quick for you ladies just popping in here. I used the Nimble right here is one of our pressed powders. You can buy this. This is a quad. All of our pressed powders, you pick out your own colors. So this is a quad that I put together, but you can also buy these individually. You do not have to buy the whole quad. So if you just want one color, this is just four of the colors we I have. Um, I have a ton more. We offer a ton more than I even have. But anyway, this is Nimble is what I use today. And if you just order, let me show you what it looks like. If you just order one color like you don't want the quad it'll come in a little case like this okay this happens to be um a color called non-conceivable which is green i wore this a lot during the christmas season but anyway it just comes just a single color so you could get the nimble if you like this look you could get the nimble and then i used this um supported blusher is what it's called is supported I don't think you can get this exact color anymore, but there is a color almost just like it on the website of a color that is going away um, that you could get of this. Go scroll down on my Facebook page and you can see a couple of the products that are going to be going away. And there's one, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but it's very similar to this color that you could use. Okay, so that's what's on my eyes. Nimble in the crease and up to my brow bone and this blusher color. Hi, Tina. Welcome, welcome. Um, and this blush color on my actual lid, just blended that together a little bit. Use this blush on my cheeks along with some uh, beachfront bronzer and then finished off with um, my lip colors again never leave home without our epic mascara if you want to check out some of these products please visit my website at www.shinewithginab you can follow me on YouTube it's Gina Burnett you can um, follow me there and if you would please share this video um, I would so appreciate that that is so very helpful to me um, to help me reach more people and help more women feel empowered um, with their makeup if you have any questions or comments please feel free to contact me at any time have a blessed day and we'll see you soon